Hello, Bess. You're welcome. Glad to have you. Thank you so much. Hello, Pastor Yemi. Thank you so much for inviting me today. Thank yeah. you. I've been looking forward to having you be a part of the virtual conference. Actually, this is the first, our very first virtual conference as a ministry. We've been hosting, you know, ladies for years in conferences, but this is the first one we're going to be having virtually. And we're all looking forward to it. The response has been awesome. The response has been awesome. We've got people responding from all over the world. So we are really looking forward to it. And I'm more than excited about the topic you're coming to really shed some light on, especially knowing the kind of ignorance some, you know, people like me have had on that issue for a while. So we're really looking forward to learning a lot and gleaning a lot from, from you. Um, I'm just going to quickly introduce you to the audience so that they will know who you are because it's very important. They cannot be truly blessed by your presence unless they know who you are. Um, Bess Obarotimi is the founder of Sinatel Limited, a web design and digital content marketing agency servicing brands all across the UK. Bess is currently the subject of our digital content series on YouTube and regular content contributor to the Sinatel Limited, block sharing expert, insight building, a robust digital brand presence in today's digital space. Best passion is to help brands tap into the power of brand storytelling, using content marketing to create a distinction that makes them preferred by their fans and influences profitable action. That's exciting. That's exciting. Yeah, yeah. You want to tell us more about yourself? Yeah, thank you for that wonderful introduction. Yes, absolutely. That is what I do. That is my day-to-day -day job. I literally sit here on a daily basis. I create content for brands and businesses. I help them with their brand image. A lot of the content that you, you and your audiences, the ladies who come, may like. Um, they may think it's from the business, but it's either me or one of my team who works remotely. I have up to five people, content creators and web designers, all creating content and managing content for different businesses around the world. We work with loads of different industries pharmaceuticals financial beauty celebrities actors large range um, but that is my job I'm here creating uh, content do training uh, we do consultations a lot of stuff is done online as well which is superbly uh, convenient and, and so I'm used to being at home <laughs> doing these times. I'm not I'm not having much fun having my freedom taken away from me but I'm very much used to being at home <laughs> You're welcome. Now, you particularly going to be looking during the conference, you're going to be looking at the issue of social media um, networking. So if you want to just tell us your job, just in a nutshell, um, what your work has been in that area of social um, media networking. I, I started my business about 10 years ago and the I started as a web designer. I did not like social media as many of your women may feel. They may be in that situation. Um, and I didn't like it. I was shy. I still, you know, I still come from an era where social media was not something that we were used to. Um, I'm generation Y and so, or X. And so, um, I had to get over my angst. I had to get on social media. I had to use it to build my business. I didn't know I was good at it. Um, I started off using it to um, get web design clients, mm. uh, but my clients thought I was good at it. And they would say, oh, Bess, we've seen you on social media. We think you're fantastic. Can you manage our social media um, um, profile stuff? And so social media was a fantastic method, vehicle for me to connect with people. And I get people all of the time up until now telling me, you know, this is how we are using the people that I train. And, and I get all my 99% of my work through social media. And, and so um, this is a fantastic time to be using social media and understanding how to present yourself, social media etiquette, and the things you need to do to um, build your brand and how to present yourself and tap into the power of social media. So uh, you're already, you know, dealing with other things I want to talk about. I was going to ask you, how, how do you think your session on social media etiquettes will help them? I think 
being on social media is one thing creating content is, is is another but being able to understand number one especially those people who you were trying to appeal to your target market what they're expecting of you and the way you conduct yourself the way your uh, your your social media etiquette is will determine how people are seeing it's going to contribute towards building your brand and so i think if you are using this time to take an advantage of this time your social media etiquette is going to be fundamental to the way people perceive you get it right and it's going to it's going to be quicker for you to be perceived as a brand and perceived as that brand that you want your audience to see you as Good, 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 good. That's good. And I, I think one of the things that we'll, we'll be seeing during the conference, during your session, is also to, you know, allow the women to be able to know, um, to, you know, kind of enlighten them on knowing which medium to use for what. When to use Instagram, when to use Twitter, because sometimes we get confused. Some of us go on YouTube when we should be going on Facebook, we go on Facebook when we should be doing something else. So I believe we, we'll be able to learn that too. Okay. Yeah, so perhaps I'm going to say some things that you may not, that might be surprised at. Okay, Let, let's leave it till then. We'll leave it till then. Um, do you have anything to say to just wrap it up? Let's wrap this up. Just um, say a few things to the ladies that are looking forward to your session. You know what, ladies, I'm so, I'm super, super excited to be meeting with you and speaking with you. Um, social media is my thing. I live, sleep and breathe it. And so, you know, talking about it is going to be such good fun. So I hope you're going to get loads from it. Bring your pens and papers and your notepads. Let's get stuff on it. But what I would suggest is if you're not on social media, at least try some of the networks or if you are on there, but you've not been quite comfortable using them, before you come to the session, yeah. use it a little bit, play around with it, get down your questions, so you that, know exactly what it is you need to ask me, ask me. To your brand. and That's hopefully we'll get around to answering them. That is smart. So get yourselves ready, ladies, for what is going to happen. Prepare yourself so that you will have your questions ready for best, and we will take absolute advantage of our presence. God bless you, Beth. Thank you very much. Looking Thank forward you to having so you. Much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Papi. I appreciate it. Thank you.